Oh, ladies and gents, it's the end of an era! He did it. He did it. A Britsy chair! <laughs> This guy was pretty cooked, I mean. <laughs> I mean, scientists talking about discovering new life on Earth at the bottom of the oceans, they ain't got a look. This has years of swamp parts in it. Oh. You need to kill me. Yeah. If you're interested, by the way, in trading in your very own swamp pass ridden racing seat, then this chair and others are available over on a Britsy. Links down below in the description only. To celebrate my newfound cleanliness, the guys at Race Room very kindly offered to send me a link to their brand new DTM 1995 cars. Now, if you're a Zoomer, you're probably thinking, 1995? What are you, 40? <laughs> this era of DTM isn't really covered anywhere, apart from that one kick ass arcade game that I forget the name of what was that called sega touring car championship what a game that was i remember seeing this in the arcade it was so damn awesome um but i was never allowed in it because fuck them kids fuck the kids but yes dtm 95 here in race room and what an awesome lineup of cars we have legends like the alfa romeo 155 which i remember being on fire <laughs> the mercedes amg c class driven by bernd schneider who won pretty much every race ever and of course the amazing opal calibra v6 which when i was young and thanks to gran trisma i thought was a really damn cool really fast car but then you saw the road car <laughs> we also have the new graphical update that's been in the works for quite some time from race room which finally kind of brings it up to this era of sim race i'm interested to hear what you guys make of it as well so here are cars to choose from and they all come with a whole host of liveries and just seeing some of these alfa romeo seeing all these different liveries here makes me remember edx remember hey hey remember ghostbusters kind of nostalgic now despite being a fan of all three cars in this pack i decided to go for the opal calibra just because <laughs> Happy memories of Grand Turismo 2 and of my granddad. Nice to drive this car in a sim, finally. And in terms of circuit, I can't think of anything better than Avis. Avis? Avis? Basically, a track that looks like this. Before we get into anything else, though, I wanted to show you how this game looks now, because it's been a little while. Look how much better this looks look at the clouds for crying out loud 10 out of 10 clouds best game this is something that race room has been lacking for a very very long time just a realistic feel to it the graphics engine very dated at this point and it's impressive to see this level of detail come from it but i remember playing this game back in 2014 and it's basically been until now that there's been a change. It's so nice to see this game updated, still being worked on, still being loved all this time later on as I'm going to miss this corner. Yeah, why not? Enough gushing about that because we're in a 95 Opal Calibra DTM car at Avis. What a combination this is. And you might know it's already this car drives a bit weird. And the reason for that is because this is a four-wheel drive. Yep, four-wheel drive. Both this and the Alfa Romeo four-wheel drive, the AMG still a um, rear-wheel drive car but it means that we suffer with what feels like terminal understeer in some of these corners but the traction out of those low speed corners is just fantastic definitely not a complex circuit this definitely not something we need to really dial in the setup for but it's just a really interesting note as i try and somehow get this last corner right i just can't do it I'm trying to get the car to move a bit oh yeah definitely broken definitely broke it definitely broke it <laughs> but anyway enough yapping Let's race this thing. We've got four-wheel drive for light here. I don't think these cars were standing start cars in period, but who the hell cares? Oh, my clutch does. And away we go. Not much of a gap to the left there. Sort of boxed in behind the Calibra in front. Fellow Calibra, brother, why have you done this to me? Penalty one for the first time. Literally 45 wide in front, so I'm going to be nice and careful on the way down for the first time. Don't want to be involved in a shunt. Oh, God, nearly was. Oh, my God, there's just no way through. Sorry, sorry, Mr. Snyder. Here's what it is. We survived. That's the important thing. Now to the second 
death challenge, the silver chicane, having to get off the throttle because the alpha in front super slow, rolling up the chicane, trying to make sure you don't touch the curve. Oh, oh. That setup change is helping. And now, up towards the biggest bullshit corner of the circuit, this long left hand of the AI just seemed to be able to get through here in one piece. I have to do some weird bullshit sliding, but we're through. One lap done, and I'm not really sure if I gained or lost place. I think I gained a couple because of that, those shenanigans down in the hairpin for the first time, but I'm already starting to feel the oddness of how this car drives as I try and pick a braking point. That felt okay. Don't hit the alpha. Don't hit the alpha. Good. Didn't hit the alpha. That little beeping, by the way, is me trying to downshift a little bit too fast. Who needs engine? This thing does rev to like a million RPM as it is. What's two million more RPM? Try and get a better run out of Chicane this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, the AI seem to be cheating a little bit. And what I mean by that is they don't quite adhere to the same physics set as I do. They move the cars in a way that I can't physically do, which is a bit of a shame because to me, race room, as I mess up this corner once again, that's a bit better. Try not to rely on the TC out of there, but you sort of have to a little bit. But what I was going to say is that this this experience here of racing against the AI, that's what race room is all about for me. It never really took off online in the same way that I, uh, the other games did, but this experience of racing sort of cool, almost niche cars against each other, as I literally, that was a Janetta style send there with a slightly better outcome than my attempts. Get out! So came once more. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely, Jimmy. Oh! <laughs> I bet I look sick on the replay camera. Oh, and what's this? The replay camera looks absolutely awesome now. I can't get a good screenshot to save your life, but... Really trying to hug that inside line there to give me as much room as possible to accelerate out with that four-wheel drive, because anyone who knows four-wheel drive cars, once you nail the throttle, you're going to just understeer. Because like, all the four wheels are putting you out of the corner like that. It's like this weird slide. You have to try and sort of guess that. Anyway, let's try and lock onto this group in front. We've escaped the cars behind. Kind of wish I could get a better exit out of there. Almost on the wheels spinning out of there, but I'm sure that would just ruin the tyres after a while. Easy on these massive curbs here. That curb on the inside, that last one, you touch that, you get just ejected. <laughs> Easy. Trying to roll off the brake slowly. A small application of throttle. <laughs> I just can't match them. I can't match them through there. No matter how soft I am on that throttle application, I just find myself struggling. 53.6, my best time so far. You can see that on my little dash down the bottom there. 250 kph, 200... Yeah, 250 exactly before almost running into the back of the Mercedes in front. What a lunch. Oh, sorry. Intentional as well. I just love this little chicane. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. That's what I meant. Don't touch. Oh! Such an odd way of driving this. Doesn't feel what you're used to. I mean, you guys will know, of course, that most race cars are, are rear wheel drive, so they handle in a completely different way to this. It feels like you have to really give this so much time and appreciation. I don't know why this was the way teams went with trying to make the car as fast as possible. Maybe there was crazy differential stuff going on. I don't know, but um, for me as a sort of first-timer in the car, it really is a strange experience. This couple of alphas slow. The McDonald's car! Brother, I'm coming for that big tasty. Oh, oh one entry. Oh, he's in the wall. Get wrecked, McDonald's car. Maybe, maybe I've got to just brake softer on the way in. Don't hit the wall, Jimmy. There, is that my doll's car? Oh, he's look, look in the mirror. Look at the left-hand side. He's there. Ronald McFuck off, mate. Starting to catch the leaders now. I think they're leaders. I'm not quite sure where we are in the race. I'm clever and didn't put the position on. Good, huh? It's so cool using this sequential for this. Just an extra level of immersion, you know, using sort of the right, the right knobs. Something feels right about just battering the shit out of this long stick, you know what I mean? No. A couple of alphas in front. They're both four-wheel drive as well, so they're going to have the same issues as we do. 
But I've noticed that I can be pretty quick into here if I can just get the car slowed down to second gear. Yep, nice. On the throttle. No! Oh, Jesus Christ. That marshal there, go back and rewind, that marshal there, or photographer, just had his life flash before his eyes. As a poor little Calibra went flying towards him. Well, that's my worst lap so far. Lucky I turned damage off, otherwise we'd be uh, pretty ruined at this moment. But it's not over yet. Big break, big effort, big effort. Oh, lovely, that was almost perfect. So happy this car has ABS. You can just absolutely nail that brake pedal and it just, yep, okay. As long as you're sort of in a straightish line, car slows down, lovely. When you start asking too much from it, from these tires, and this is four wheel drive, so all four wheels are being driven. If you're asking that, or you're asking braking and trying to move the car in a weird way, the tire gives up pretty quickly. So it's about sort of feeding the car into the, in and out of the corners. Then it starts, listen to you. Then you start finding some time. That should be a fairly quick lap, I think. Oh, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, shut up then. Oh, the car's in front, all bunched up now. So it's like, this is our chance. No, no. I said this was our chance, Jimmy. But if I can stop getting in my own way, there's a possibility I can catch these guys. However, it seems I'm really, really focused on going backwards at this time. Seems like a better line through there. My Delta says no. There's still time to make up bases here. Got a few laps left still. Oh. <laughs> Every time, man. Uh, I guess I'm going to have a go. Oh, big launch, big launch. The AI is able to hold it around the outside there. I can't physically turn anymore. <laughs> the spits of flame out the car in front. Oh, big draft. Big draft. Big effort. Oh, okay. I think we're there. I think we're there. We're there. Nice. Okay. I think we're in like fourth or fifth right now. All it takes is me racing the AI to win a race. Don't look into that whatsoever. We're getting closer. Now they might be close enough for a move down as he won. Not quite sure. Come on, in the toe. Imagine doing this in real life. I the feeling of this rocketing down these streets, these highways. It's about as late as I can break. Oh, <laughs> sorry, brother. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll, I'll give you a, a sorry push out the corner. Come on, we're going fast now, mate. We're going well fast. Okay, look at that AI, look how it changed direction there. Went, oh, he's defending hard now. Again, I just can't do anything here. I can't get the car turned in in that way. There you go, 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 go. Nice exit, come on. Well, this four play isn't good for me. I need to make the move. Oh, no. Oh, God. He broke so early. <laughs> if, that was, if that was real life, we would both be on fire right now. Luckily, it's not. We can continue our murderous spree. But I mean, like, the car is interesting to drive. I'm not sure it's going to be everyone's cup of tea, honestly. I mean, it sounds kind of like the car did in real life. I mean, for me, I don't know. I'm not getting that same sort of visceral feeling I've had from race room in the past when it comes to sort of onboard car sounds. I think stuff's moved on a little bit in the last few years. And this maybe doesn't quite have that same level of rawness as other cars maybe do. And the way it drives is, as I've said multiple times, just thoroughly unique. It's not that you have to always square the car off properly before really getting on the throttle because the car doesn't really do anything apart from be a rocket out of the corner if it's in a straight line. It doesn't really turn in. You have to induce this weird slide half the time. You don't feel like you can really use the aero that much, honestly. I've never knew really got one corner where the aero is even mildly being used here. It's probably this one. 
but I don't know, it doesn't feel... I imagine them to feel a bit more planted than this. Oh! The exit! Come on! <laughs> okay, now we're moving. Now we're moving. Now we can fight. Minute and a half left on the clock. It's a big break effort. Yeah, great move. Great move there. Just a little shunt there. Just a tiny shunt. Barely any contact, really. Oh, yeah, again, small shunt. We're in DTM, damn it. That's how it works. Oh, on the curb, slow myself down a fair chunk. Then we've got, I think, maybe two laps left at the most when we finish this one. So we're gonna have to really start thinking of ideas to get by here that aren't hitting the guy. As much as I like that idea. Oh, in the back, look in the mirror. Third place is back as well. It ain't over yet. At least I think that's fair. There is a car up ahead. I hope that isn't the leaders. I think we are lapping them. Maybe there's room. Oh, not quite. Oh, it's Jan Magnussen. Is this a good idea, Jimmy? Jimmy, is this a great idea? Is this an idea, Jimmy? Is this an idea? Where is it? Oh. <laughs> Look at the clock! This might be the last lap! I think it might be! Oh, come on. No! No! No, Jan! Come on, mate! Where is he? No! 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 It was ours. It was ours. And it's gone. I can't believe that. Got done dirty there. Just that same corner. Every lap I was slower. Absolutely railed at the last corner. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Boxer slap. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I'm not petty, I promise. Absolute bastards a lot. But yeah, that was the Race Room DTM 95s plus a very lovely graphical update. What do you guys think? Look better? Look worse? Let me know in the comments down below. I really enjoyed that race, despite the fact that the AI were maybe a little bit tricky in some places. I'm not quite following the same laws of physics as I was, which is always temperamental. A big thank you to Race Room for um, letting me try this early. I'm looking forward to hearing your guys' opinions when you try it. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you next time.